Hello, Kira. <laughs> I'm gonna do a tarot card reading with you in mind. And who knows? Hopefully, hopefully it resonates with you and it's got some interesting things to say. So let's see. Founding father, founder, father. Ooh. 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 Every day was slaves were being and carted away. Ooh. These ones I gotta fix. Okay, well, no. <laughs> You're gonna see this and you're gonna be like, this looks sketch. But, um, I'm going with absolute randomness. I kind of like to wildly shuffle and then let some cards fall out or the ones that like slide. I'm like, okay, that's the one. So, yeah, we got four cards. We got Kira. K I. Hmm. Can't really see it that well. Or like at all for that matter. Um. There we go. Yeah. K I R A. Kira. <laughs> so, green is pentacles, blue is cups, red is wands. And this is a major arcana card. I like it. This fits you, I would say. It's an Usopp card. Woo! So, um, first we've got the Knight of Pentacles, but it's reversed. So that's interesting. So I'm going to search it up real quick. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it shows a knight holding on to their pentacle, <laughs> to their coin, their, their abundance on this horse. Um, and everything is still. So it seems like this person would be contemplating. They're really like, okay, I need all this time. Reverse, it's kind of like, you kind of have plenty of time in a sense. It's more like, it's kind of like boredom, it says. And like, uh, in a sense, laziness? Feeling stuck, perhaps, maybe? It's kind of just saying like, Okay, I have this money, basically, but like, now you're just like, well, I'm just sitting around, and yeah, I've got this abundance, but like, I'm kind of not doing anything sort of vibe. I don't know. And then this one is the Nine of Cups, but reversed. So I'm going to search that one. Be a new man, New York, just you wait. Okay, so this card basically shows a person they're like, eh, and they've got like a bunch of cups behind them, like a stall, like if they're like having an open market or something. Here, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Let me... <laughs> yeah. So, that's the card. And, um, yeah, the cups represent... They actually usually represent much more about mon or, uh, feelings and emotions and stuff. So it's interesting that this card uh, focuses more so kind of like on the abundance, so the, the more tangible version of feelings. It's kind of an interesting card, honestly. But reverse, it tells me that, you know, like, how this is, it's like, okay, I'm open for, like, open for sale, here's my feelings, here's my emotions, come on guys, come on and get it! Reverse, it's kind of like, okay, I don't have all the time, money, and feelings for every single person, like, I can only give, like, what I have, and when I can, it's very much more of a conservative form of feelings and love and all those powerful emotions so um it's a very interesting card um and the fact that it's here means that you have these feelings don't don't freak out and be like oh no like i'm cutting myself off no this i would say this is a pretty good thing to have see it means you're very careful it kind of reminds me of what you're talking about with anna so yeah um if you kind of get the vibe of what these cards sort of represent a bit maybe and then you've got you got Usopp and the card is called the fool so to me it's kind of like um it's like yes things might like bite you in like the ass basically like things might happen where you're like ah or like woo like misfortune after this or like your roof is leaking or like oh someone dented like your favorite cup I don't know like things happen but you're just like 
you know, you'll react, you'll be like, ah, oh, God, like, ah, you know, like, because who wouldn't? Like, if, if a dog bites you in the leg, you're going to be like, ah, a dog bit me. But as a fool and as who you are, it, it doesn't really phase you. You're, it doesn't mess with your journey. You're just like, ah, okay. <laughs> so it's a very, it's kind of like happy-go-lucky, but it's like happy-go-lucky that stings is how I would see this card. <laughs> And then the last card is the Five of Wands, and it's right side up, so could be a lot of good stuff from it. Let me see. The place to be, two pints of Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. Oh. This card actually has a lot to do with, like, conflict, actually, and, um... Not just like regular conflict, we're like, me and you, we have this problem. No, it's like, there's a lot of different factors into what these conflicts are. A lot of things you are, are having to consider. You're like, okay, well, there's situation A, B, C, D, and E, or like, you know, like, person A and person B, and then like, opportunity C, though, but problem D, like, there, it's not just one thing. There's like, multiple things kind of going on that cause conflict and that could be like you know you're stressed with work and like i'm not saying this is it i'm just giving an example like you're stressed with work and you have to take care of two dogs and your kid is complaining about your cooking not being good so like ooh, that hits a spot and then this other thing you know it's like multiple things causing conflict sort of but that's how i take these so pretty cool and you know i'm gonna go ahead and just continue on and go with the nguyen part also let me fix the camera again so you can see the cards <laughs> um no <laughs> there we go but my mind is older Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm at the wrong part of the song. <laughs> so, huh. This is the devil card, but reversed. So, it could be, um, you know, normally, like, if you get this card, it could be like, oh, you might be, um, it might be, huh, could be either way. It could be either that you're like, woo, like, like, these things are fine, or maybe perhaps you feel guilty and ashamed. I don't know. Not very good with this card. Sorry. <laughs> this one. The Pope. Okay, well, this card is really, like, blurry and crap, so I'm gonna go ahead and search that one. In fact, it's supposed to be a different name. I'm gonna pause so I can find the name. Oh, okay. Yeah, the picture online is so much better. Um... So, the picture looks like someone who has authority and has power, and they look like they're not the most forgiving type. They look like they're the kind that is just going to shrug off anyone who's like, hey, I have a problem. And you're like, uh-uh, not my problem. But uh, to me, the fact that this is reverse kind of tells me that you have some of those traits, but a big key difference would be that you do give people the time, you do give people the chance, you do listen, you're still going to keep a very rational mind about things though. You're still going to think and evaluate and be like, okay, well, you know, like, if what I hear doesn't work out with me and my, like, values and, and goals and stuff, like, then, like, sorry. So, it's very similar to where this picture, like, the person is just like, be gone, but it's like, you're like, be gone, but I care. Like, it's different. So it's like, yeah, I would say it's a good card. Hopefully I'm kind of explaining these well. This one is Luffy's card. You got the world. That's a very good card. It means you've kind of experienced um, all sorts of things. With the online drawing or picture, it shows that you have experience with all four, basically, realms of tarot, is what they, they kind of call them. The suits, the wands, pentacles, swords, um... And, uh, what's the last one? And cups. It's like, you've experienced a lot of things. You know, you've experienced love. You've experienced spirituality. You definitely have. It's, it says so right here. You've experienced the world. And spirituality is part of the world. And wands are basically a, is like what coincides with spirituality. Cups coincides with the feelings. Pentacles coincides with uh, 
abundance and tangible things and like things that um can be grown so it's like businesses for example and then swords are like kind of hard they're like mental tools mental weapons like they're they're things that you can use for taking action i don't really know but to me it's like lessons and stuff like that and so yeah this card kind of just indicates like you have a good grasp of all of those things so, or like not good grasp but like experience you have experience with those things and so that's a very powerful thing to have next is the uh seven of swords and let me search what that one is seven of swords <laughs> you're someone who you're kind of you kind of like you've got skills um but they're like clever skills they're they're very like around the bout sort of skills like whoo hey i got 10 million dollars this way ha like i just got that reward or this re basically sort of deals is what this looks like to me it's a uh, it might, it's not necessarily talking about money, but it's like, the way you go about things, it's kind of like stealthy. It's like, it's very, very cool. It's a cool card. Um, <laughs> the words that come with it are not as cool, but that's always the case online. I much more prefer the picture and the imagery. To me, the imagery shows someone who's, who's very proud of the way they handle their kind of like cleverness. I'd say whatever sort of things that you're like being like clever or around the corner about or maybe even sneaky or like tricky about um, whether that's gossip behind someone's back or like how you got money or anything or like even re regarding waffles or like you know like I opened the door and closed it and then waited and then Ollie showed up and boom I caught him trying to eat that banana you know what I mean like Clever. It's a it's a good form of clever. So hopefully I've portrayed it properly. I say a lot of other things. I'm trying to give the interpretation of the image. And I'm trying my best not to like say like this is what you are. Cause like you should basically how these kind of goes, like you should be able to like kind of hear the story and like see what it's talking about, but about you. Um usually they're very spot on, but maybe these aren't. But that's okay if it's not. Um <laughs> Bad connection. The signal's a little weak on, on the internet. <laughs> on this recording. <laughs> Alright, so this is the three of pentacles. I like the number three, and I like coins. That's another word for this. Um, so, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this is just a picture I've never seen. I've never drawn this card, apparently. Um, to me, it looks like you have a, a, a founded place. You have a foundation, and you're building and working it up. It You put a lot of money, you put a lot of resources into this foundation, so it's there. You're not like someone who's just like, oh, hopefully money will come around. It's like, no, you... Money's coming around, but it's still tight. Like, you, you've got people with you. People have papers out there planning. One person's like, oh, and they're on a desk, like, or a bench. They're like, okay, getting ready to work. The other people are like, okay, well, you want to do this and this. So it's like remodeling, you know, like, basically work on your house. Um, I'm relating it to you because I can see how the, what this is kind of talking about in my perspective. But uh, it also means that just in general, you know, okay, and the words that they come up with are teamwork, initial fulfillment, collaboration, learning. That's very much what I see in this picture. Um, so yeah, by the way, like, it's weird. Like I see the image and I'm like, ah, but it's so hard for me to explain what it says. So I sound really like iffy and stuff. It's just because sometimes I have such a grasp on like what the drawing looks like to me that I can't put it into words. Um, like this one, I really know the Magician card really well. To me, it's a very creative card, so on top, and that's why it's Nami. So it's got the infinity symbol on top, and there's this box, and there's tools. The box is kind of like the magic box, where there's like a lot of tricks in there that like, uh-uh-uh, you're not going to give away those tricks. You, you'll show people your tools, you're like, okay, well here's my program, here's how I did it, or here's my budget, here's my, 
you know, spreadsheet, but the inner workings, your mind, that's all inside the box. No, but like, but like this box, not like you anything inside the box. No, not that kind of box, but like, it's like a, yeah, you're not, people, like, people are just like, man, I see your tools, and I see you've got unlimited power for creativity, and you're really good at this, but man, how do you do it? And you're like, well, it's inside this box that you can't open except for me. Someone, like, who knows exactly what's in this box, because you're the one who, you know, packed this in your mind. Basically, this is a card about creativity, and that your creativity is limitless. It's a very good card to end off on. So basically, kind of to me, uh, this story kind of starts off with, um, what was this card again? Eight of Pentacles. You're, you start off appearing as this person who's lazing around, not doing anything, perhaps, and you have these things, and you're very conservative about your feelings of who you spend your time with, and that kind of coincides a lot with that whole boredom aspect of, like, you're not gonna, you're, like, you're gonna hold on to what you have still, because if you drop it, yeah, that, that's worse, like, by the way, they're all kind of by a cliff, so it's like, it's a person who, like, who isn't worried, but still is at kind of risk. They're still at a tight spot. It's not the kind of lazy, like, you're not doing anything. It's like, you're doing stuff. The lazy they're talking about is, like, almost, like, dissatisfied, but not. It's, like, bored. It's like, it's like a, okay, I don't have much to kind of do sort of thing. It's an interesting card. I haven't ever pulled it before, so this is my first time interpreting it. And then this is the whole, like, um, limited resources of feelings, of love, of abundance, everything. Like, you have to be careful with it. Like, you're still open for shop, but you're dialing it back and making sure you don't lose all your products, basically. And then builds on to, like, yeah, put those together and you get Kira. <laughs> you get someone who who's very fun to hang out with. You get Usopp, someone who's the party. Life of the party, you know? Got some skills as a sniper, but you're still clumsy. Things still happen. You still get scared. You're 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 a person with feelings. <laughs> and then and you're also someone who's got a lot of conflicts that will go on around your life. Which is Usopp, you know, he's like, ah, oh, why do all these things happen to me, you know? And that's kind of Kira. And the whole win about you, the whole oomph, is, again, I don't really know how to interpret the devil. I'm really bad at it. Um, let me look at the picture online, actually. Eloquently. Okay, so this shows someone, you're actually, so, so normally, right side up, it's like you're very constrained, your, your love life, your, how you feel about your sexuality, all that stuff, it's very, like, um, trapped and, um, what's it called? Restricted. But reverse, it's like, there's no restrictions there, you feel very comfortable of who you are and who you're with and, like, how you guys, like, interact and everything, like, you guys are very comfortable, you guys are very free, um, it's a word I kind of noticed in the keywords, you're not restrained, you're not being held back, um, in your love life. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about it. And then this is that whole, um, you'll hear people out, you will give people a chance, you'll listen, but, like, it's gotta, like, align with your own terms, too, sort of deal. Sorry, now I'm just repeating the words, going into, yeah, you're this person, basically, you're this very free person who's very understanding, but still tactical and still, like, still also, like, you know, like, 